Your liver lives in the right upper part of your abdomen. Your liver does many jobs for you. It makes part of your blood, helps you digest food, um, removes waste products in your body. So your liver does a lot of stuff. Most people aren't really that familiar with what your liver does. You, you know your heart beats and you know your lungs breathe, but your liver, not so sure, but it is a vital organ. So if your liver dies, you die. And an alpha trypsin is a protein made in the liver in very, very large quantities every day. And normally it's made in the liver and released into the blood. And alpha trypsin is in your blood and in the water or in your body. And it protects your own body when you're fighting infection. So as your body's fighting germs, your own body can be damaged during that fight. And alpha trypsin floats around in your water and protects your own body. So in alpha trypsin deficiency, the most common severe form, you inherit the two bad genes for alpha trypsin, which are called Z. The normal gene is called M, as in Mary. But if you're ZZ for alpha trypsin, you have the most severe and most common severe form of alpha trypsin deficiency. So people with that, their liver still makes lots of alpha trypsin, but it makes an abnormal kind. And 85% of what the liver makes cannot be released into the blood. So the blood levels are too low or deficient, and that's how the disease gets its name, alpha trypsin deficiency. It's a blood deficiency, leaving the lungs open to damage when infection is being fought. However, the liver has too much. So the liver is making lots and lots of abnormal alpha trypsin, and it builds up in the liver and damages the liver. The life of a patient is, um, is very challenging. Oftentimes, they go years, sometimes five to seven years, of being misdiagnosed. And then once they are diagnosed, it's a scary, proposition. It's a genetic disease. It's inherited. It affects your lung and your liver. So you have challenges on both major organs in your body. 